Hello everyone. Um, my plan is to show you how to make the rolling pin. Now, when I made this, <laughs> I got out my little architectural rule from interior design class, which I used all the time. And, you know, it's been, well, actually, I, I used it this year when um, I did a project for someone. But anyhow, it's like I'm used to using the quarter inch and the one half. So I don't really stray out of that at all. Just the quarter inch to the one inch. So anyhow, or one inch into quarter inch, I guess I should say. So anyhow, when I made this, I'm thinking that I, I kept thinking, I know it had to do with the three eighths. So I'm thinking I came over to the small one and actually measured that and it was, and I probably just went, okay, it's about six inches because I was going to cut the paper. And, but when I went over to here, I made it seven inches. And then it's like I found the piece of, so I mean, it's going to be a little off, but I mean, I still think it's super cute. <laughs> And, and I never even thought about, oh, this is thinner, you know, and it looks longer. Okay. But I really like this because for some reason it looks like my mom's. I don't know if hers was shorter than other people's or not. But um, anyhow, I use this um, card. It's cardstock and it is from Hobby Lobby and they have like whole pads because my friend actually bought this and she's like, Oh, you can have half of it, and it's like, nah, just keep it. Give me a, you know, one of each color, and that way, if I need one, I'll know where to come for it. So, um, anyhow, we're gonna make it um, really the same dimensions that I have here because flipping my ruler, I totally had done it wrong, but I think this is a cute one. Um, you can always, I mean, really, it's like if you have an architectural rule, you can do it right <laughs> and have it perfect proportions I did not so anyhow I actually used the 3 8 and I measured it and it was supposed to be almost 6 and when I went to the 3 4 to make the size I wanted I made 7 inches so we're just gonna go ahead and do that because it's cute to that size and I actually and I made it wider than it was supposed to be too. I think I just figured, oh, I'll just make it that width and maybe cut it down later. So, um, because actually it would have been, and I'm probably really confusing, it was supposed to be one inch. So when I came over here, when I'm using the three quarter inch scale, it is one and a half inch. But I'm going to tell you the perfect measurements to make this size because I think it looks really good. On the thing. I actually wanted a bigger one and then now when I went to make it I thought I really like it the size that it is because otherwise it would have taken up the whole space this way it gave me room to have her cake here and so it's like I like the size that it is so I'm just gonna make this size and tell you what this is so this now I need my my real ruler because I don't want to be telling you the wrong measurements. Okay, so when I cut this, I cut it a little bit bigger because I was going to round the edges. So this is five, it ended up about five and an eighth. So I would cut off maybe five and a quarter. I mean, you really don't have to have it that much bigger. And the width of this, because I'm going to cut the width actually first, and the width of it is, I can't tell because my bow is in the way, it's only, it's one and an eighth. I mean, you could just do one inch. Okay, so I'm going to use this piece right here as long as my inch, as long as I can get an inch out of there. And... Yes, there's definitely an inch in there because I don't want the one with the cracks. I mean, I can use that for something else. And so I'm just going to cut off where the black line is. 
I like this Tim Holtz cutter because it's like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper fits right in here. Oh, and I gotta actually do this because I wanna hold on to it. And otherwise I won't. Okay, so I'm just cutting off the black and that's what I actually did for the other one. So that's probably how come I have it wider than what I actually thought it was gonna have it wide. Okay, and so I am going to make it, what did I say? I needed to write all this down. <laughs> And, and I kind of do this for other things, but I'm pretty good at eyeballing things and just cutting them out. Okay, this is five and eight, so that's when I'm going to cut it. And first I'm going to go in here and I'm going to cut off the nails because I don't want the nails there. So it's going to be five and eight when I'm done, so I'm cutting those off. And then I'm going to, I'm always cutting at this end because... You know, I can see it easier. <laughs> so I'm going to make it five and eight. And you can tell that that's pretty good card stock because it's kind of, it's kind of even hard to cut through. Okay, so then I just, because I was looking at this one, which I'll bring it up closer to you. Um, I just decided I was going to round the edges like this because if you're looking at it forward, you're not going to see the ends at all. So, you know, it's like sometimes um, I had one over in amongst this, um, the stickers that you kind of seen the end, but I didn't want that because I'm looking at it from the front. So then I just took my scissors and just rounded it. over to my length. So it's like when you cut it, you have that little bit of curve there and then you just leave the rest straight because that's how it would look if you're looking at it from the front. So I came over probably maybe a quarter of an inch or maybe three, maybe a little more, a little less, probably probably a quarter inch or a little bit less. And again, I did that. And then you're gonna wanna take, I actually used, I had done a um, project um, a couple years ago and I used colored pencils a lot for my shading because they had so many colors. So I kinda, um, I kinda like the control of that. So that's what I'm gonna use today and just put something down to protect your background. Decide what you want for your top and your bottom. And I think I'm gonna use, um, this has like a little bit of dark right here. I mean, it's pretty white right here, but that's okay um, because I'm gonna darken it. And then um, I, since I was looking at this one, it showed it a little bit dark on the top but then the, the shadow on the bottom, which took up quite a bit of space. So I just put a little bit of dark up here at the top, and not very much, but I mean, I think it, the rolling pin looks very dimensional. So just kind of just going over that top edge, not hardly anything at all. Okay, and this is gonna be my bottom but I flip it because I, I like to color from this angle and and then just color and we're going to come up well on theirs they actually have it up a little more than what I'm going to do just because the bigger one I don't think you would see that much shadow so I'm coming up though quite a bit a little bit more on the edges And a little bit more here than what I've got so far. I sent a picture to my daughter and she's like, is that three dimensional? <laughs> she thought it was dimensional. And I did put cardboard underneath it so you get a little bit of a um, shadow under it too. So that, that really helped. 
and I just keep coloring until I like the looks of it and the ink would probably be faster and I did bring that out so we could try that too but I did use the pencil and I think I want a little bit more so I'm gonna color it on this side too maybe kind of get that edge a little bit better because you want it really defined when you have that on the and I'm going to come up a little bit on this too just to kind of define that edge okay so that looks pretty good and then I actually took out um, a white color pencil and I have everything kind of, everything's been down here in this corner because that's what I was using okay and so after we darkened that one line there then I'm actually gonna just put some white just below it to kind of highlight it and it doesn't sh you don't think too much is happening but um, it's it does look different than when you started I made a poster for an auction and um, I know I showed it on RTS it was fun it was like um, the, the what was it it was like the roaring 20s and so I did a lot of shadowing of the people and everything else and you can see that looks pretty good and then um, I took a color that looked like my mom's now mine has like just wooden handles but I liked the one I remember you know from a kid is my favorite one so I'm just gonna use a piece of this and I'm gonna cut it a little bigger than what I need it but I'm just gonna cut it like this and fold it in half and I'm just gonna cut this shape and and it's like I cut both shapes to where I think it's a good shape just at, just in case you don't like one side that's the side you put underneath here because it's underneath there too so that's what I just did both and I'm gonna bring it in a little closer okay and I just kind of you know you're kind of cutting an oval but your oval is gonna kind of come down to um, a, not like a point but kind of rounded just think about how the handle looks okay I think yeah I've got it probably about the same as what I got it there and now um, I did end up quitting before I got to that end but you know it's like if you feel like that's the right shape then you know just go ahead and do that but I'm gonna actually cut it just a little bit closer in okay so I think this is probably the right shape here and now I'm just gonna cut off that end because I feel like this is a good handle for the outside and so they look like that let me see if I can I got my little note where I was trying to <laughs> remember the measurements and it's like oh I think I even have add them all up so that looks pretty good there and then I ended up um, I think I put these on before I did the um, before I ended up putting the chipboard underneath it okay and I probably glued it to at the time but I'm just gonna tape for now and 
I think I might have even measured, but I mean, you can kind of tell where the center is. And then you can see, it looks pretty realistic. And, um, and I will put chipboard on this before I'm finished. And, in fact, I'm going to go get that. Okay, I've got my chipboard here, so I'm going to put that on. And I just cut this a little smaller than what this was. Let me move this. What this was with the curve, so a little smaller than the actual ends. And, and real close to the width, too. Hopefully my head ain't in the way. Okay, and then uh, the little slivers I cut off the edge, I actually just put those right here so when it goes into the book, it won't be, you know, pushing that in. So I'm going to put this on here too. side. I just thought this turned out so cute. I love it on my layout. And um, it's like if if I can't find, you know, it's like it's so much easier if you have something in your you know, your stash already to use. But if there's something that you want and you don't have it, then you can at least make it. Okay, I'm going to just see what this ink looks like on here because I thought this probably looked the closest to what I would want for it. And this is tea dye. Because I know like sometimes the ink is definitely faster. But um, I know I was got used to using the pencils just because... It's like I had every color, and that looks really good too. I mean, I, I really like that maybe a little better. So maybe I'll just go ahead and ink this right over it. Maybe put the pencil and the ink. Might even look more realistic. And then just a little at the top. So it adds a little bit to it. Okay. And then I also put a bow on it. And I'm going to make this one with this plaid gingham because it's like, oh my gosh, totally love this. <laughs> so I just wrapped it around once cut it and I think I taped it I taped it or glued it because I just used I mean that glue usually I mean I'm amazed how um, it just it holds just about everything so I just wrapped it around like that and then I went ahead and just made the bow separate And the ribbon that I used for that, it was a, quite a bit thicker than this, but um, I might have used this if I would have thought about it. I just had red in my mind. Um, it's like my kitchen, it, it actually is kind of like a off-white because I 
pick the color to match my dishes and um, but I I keep saying oh my kitchen's blue <laughs> but it really doesn't have anything blue in it <laughs> and even when I went and bought towels I still bought red so it's like I guess I have I guess those are my colors whether I like it or not and and I have red dishes and I have white dishes so but my my favorite color is blue and I would love to have curtains actually that look like this that would be perfect for me one of these days I'm gonna have to make them so I'm just gonna and I just use this glue and glued the ribbon on and then I used a one of those clips like chip for chips or you know a clothespin whatever I just used that to hold it on and oh I love that I love that color so as with the other embellishments um, if you subscribe like and comment I will do a drawing and somebody will win the little the little rolling pin and I'm gonna go get a clip and put on it and I will have close-ups at the end and that's it and I'll put down the measurements again too and I'll put down the measurements of the handle because um, the handle I just used um, scrap paper that was roughly uh, probably like an inch and a half and then just cut inside there so um, you know it's pretty easy and and then your your rolling pin ends up being roughly five and a sixteenth by one inch and the overall length I'll have to re-glue that the overall length with the handles is six and five eighths but I'll put down the measurements of everything when down in the drop down menu so I will fix that and make sure you like comment subscribe and you'll be in the drawing thanks for watching bye bye